Okay, is this thing on? Kalu, if you're watching this, that means I had sent you with Mr. Happy to help you continue with your life. I've been going through terrible things with my life. My pastor and my demons hold too strong of my actions and my choices. Because of this, I can't be with you anymore. With the help of Mr. Happy, I'm sure he would help you with this. If you want to avoid these demons as much as possible through your life, you only have two choices to do it. One, take as much therapy as possible to repress them. Two, cut your eyeballs out. I have no answers about if you were to conceive a child. There, there, your dad's here. What's happening now? She got in very critical condition after her conception. She may be losing her life pretty soon. Is there anything we can do to help you? Can I still visit her? Sure, go right ahead. Hello Carlis, you ready to see your new brother, almost named after you, his name is Carter, so you won't have to be alone. Mama. I hope you can take this in, your mother, won't be coming back. Carter, why did you hurt my butt? I'm sorry, it was an accident. You should have walked away from the slider earlier before Ray. Carlos, you went on early, you should have waited until Carter walked out the end of the slide. How did you know? I thought you were blind. I heard two bumps right here two seconds at a time. You really should look what's there before you slide. Oh, I didn't know. But what about Carlos's butt? What do you think Carlos? That's my fault too. Sorry I got so quick to blame. It's not you Carter. Carlos, don't feel too bad. Take this as a learning experience. Sorry, I just get too mad at times. I never wanted to make Carter feel bad. Carlos, you're doing fine. We're here for fun so let's forget this, race you to the truck. Ha, huh, you're still paying for my cone. They don't have it without me. All right, Carlos. First punishment. Ha 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 ha. Why don't I get any punishments? Punishments are bad. Duh. But you're laughing. No, he ain't. He's crying. What? I don't understand. Ha 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 ha. Oh, you're finally in the same school as me. Duh, I wasn't expecting to see you either. Ha, huh. well hope to see you like, 5th grade here like I did. Hope I like it too. Hey man, you dropped your pencil. Oh no, I'm sorry, please don't tell on me. Whoa dude, slow down, I didn't mean to pressure you. Yeah sorry, I get like that at times. Your father has told me a lot about you, tell me. How are things going with you at home? What is this? An intervention? Just an inspection check, it's something kept private with me and your father. What? It's nothing completely serious is it? That depends on if you believe that it is. Fine, everything is going alright. 
cart or what if you know the answer to a question in this test but you disagree with it? I don't know which question. Just say. Um, I just go with the question's answer. Why is that? So I don't get an F. Damn that's a good point. What was that answer you didn't like anyway? You don't wanna know. What is this test about sex or something? Carter I was just writing on that. I'm sorry. No I'm sorry. Go ahead and read it. What's the answer you thought was wrong? Um. Is this for science? Oh shit it has the is the earth round question. Imagine if you were gonna say flat. I was gonna say flat. You believe the earth is flat? Look a lot of people on the internet make some good points. No I think I'll let you have that dumb take in your head. I'd prefer not to be taught about it. Oh fuck off Carter. Dad is it wrong to believe the earth is flat? What do you mean? Everyone usually makes fun of me for saying that. Sometimes I feel like I'm gonna be distant from other people. We all like to learn and see things we haven't gotten to chance to do before. But what if you believe it's indisputably wrong? Who cares? Even if I did believe so I think it's your right to believe it for a while until maybe you realize it isn't true. Huh? I guess it makes sense when you put it that way. In fact, Coming out of ideas you used to believe in would make you more smarter than if you were to simply oppose it alone without ever challenging it. I guess that's true, but it's just like... What seems to be the problem Carlos? Have you ever had this feeling where you think you're smarter than everyone else but at the same time you feel dumb in front of them? Are you having self-esteem issues Carlos? I think so. If you see it that way. Are you not making any friends at any school? Not to be rude but only those who are retarded. Well don't um. Okay I had dumb people at school too. But are you sure that you don't have any friends that you feel are genuine? One, I think. But even then what I don't like about him is that we agree on absolutely everything and we never argue with each other. And now I feel that no matter what I really say he isn't going to stop for one moment to critique what I think. Truth is Carlis, I felt the exact same way when I was growing up in school. And let me guess, you still don't know how to fix it? It gets better Carlis, all it takes is to have a better idea every time you have a moment, you'll make mistakes, maybe you'll make terrible mistakes. But when you have at least one person who would look out for you no matter where you go, Please keep that person in order to keep you guidance. Who would it be if it's not just you dad? Carlis, I love you very much. I love you too dad. Hey, that's an offensive flag, put it down right now. So I take it as you refuse to join us? Join you, what? No? All I want is, yeah. Everyone spread out. We must go over the city and punish every single location. What do you want? I'll give you anything. Please, don't hurt me. You ain't gonna try and escape your punishment for your crime against Boris. Hey Chief. Is it okay if we take some money? No, we're here to punish this store, not to rob it. Oh, sorry. This is the day that everyone will finally go back to Boris after his efforts with Boris Land. We will finish what he started and punish every undisciplined child, especially you. Instead of being grounded, this country deserves a punishment day for protesting their leader, and every final punishment of theirs will always be death. Oh jeez. Hey dad watch I'll looking for. Just looking over some old stuff, some bring back memories. What was that tape you were holding? Does it have younger you? Yeah, but it's very bad. Oh. Is it? Yep, it's all me with my dad. Can I see it? I think you're a bit too young to see them. Well can I still? I just want to know what your life was like to feel a lot better with mine. Are you really sure you want to see it? I promise I won't get any bad idea from it. Okay, Carlis, I trust you.
Is the old VHS still working? Yeah. Can you hook it up? Just did. The video is starting. Hey what are you guys watching? This is a bit too strong for you Carter. What? But why is Carlos watching it with you? We're gonna be watching old family videos of our grandfather. Oh, that guy. Yep. Seriously dad, I can't believe you lived with such father. The past is the past, I'm not so hurt from it anymore, I think it's important for Carlos to see how it exists. Well can I see it too? I don't know, maybe not yet. Well, I'll work out if it gets too much. Alright then Carter. Alright. Hey dad, after the cake, when will I get my presents? You impatient and ungrateful prick asking quickly for presents before trying the delicious cake I spent hours on. That's it. How about we go upstairs to your presents now, and you see me burning them? No dad, please, I try your cake first, no 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 no. This is widely disturbing. And by the way, one of them was a video game console. Oh my god. Don't worry what he bought was a bootleg NES console from the mall market, and it sucked. Kalu did you break that vase? No, it was right next to the open window and it was very windy outside. Sorry, but since you have no witnesses, you're the only suspect in the room which means you're guilty. Time for ass whooping. No please dad let's talk how my fucking god you fucking out. Don't curse out your father. Kalu, you didn't look both ways down the road, that's it. Now you'll know what it'll feel like to be hit by a car next time you make that mistake. Huh, that's actually kinda fair. Wait what the fuck? I mean you know, you get the feeling of being hit by a car so you'd know the impact next time you don't look. It's an interesting way to learn not to do something. That's fucking stupid. I know how not to cross without looking without having to feel the punishment. Well, I mean... He's right, Josh. You can't enforce good behavior with pain like that's the only way to teach you. I mean, there's something to think about. The fact you didn't look, and no car hit you. You survived on luck. Yeah, so what? So like you survived a critical moment in your life and it was based on luck. Don't you ever feel like you haven't learned something from it? Your dad drives. He doesn't have to worry about shit with looking both ways. Carter, calm down. Carlos, my life was never good before with my dad, my feelings were oppressed and I felt nothing but depression throughout my life. It was when I finally left my dad that I finally grew and was able to know how and why I can fix my mistakes. But, a life with no punishment, no discipline, no torture or suffering. Carlos, why do you care so much? Why wasn't I punished? I wish I had my butt spanked for breaking that vase so that I wouldn't have to break another one. Carlos, are you okay? Why did I miss out on that? Why was I so left alone when I did too many things where I could have learned the better and improved as a person from knowing how bad the things I did are? I know, it was because I was neglected, by a father who doesn't care about his kids. Josh, what are you doing? Stop with this nonsense. You hypocrite. You said, I could believe in what I want. Josh, this isn't how you should think, please, let me help you. No, I was no longer be lectured by a naive and inconsistent father, from now on. I'm making my own rules, I will give myself a punishment day upstairs in my room so I can be finally free of my corrupt behavior and self-esteem issues. So don't bother me until I'm done. Stop Josh, this isn't right. Stop right there. Just what do you think you're doing? I need discipline, and I'm going to get it. Carlos, don't talk about hurting yourself. This is too inhumane. No choice, Dad. You should have thought about that when I broke your vase. What tools do you have in your room, Carlos? None of your business, that's what. Carlos. Carlos, open the door. Oh my god, you're hurting yourself. Stop it, Carlos. Put down the chainsaw, this isn't gonna...
Carlis? How's your breakfast? It's good. Why? How do you feel now, Carlis? What do you mean? You know, after last night. Huh? Oh yeah, last night. That was pretty weird. Oh look I finished my egg. I've never felt more amazing than anything in my entire life. I believe it's happening. Are you sure? Yes, and it's getting worse. He just started hurting himself in his room upstairs. Why? From my interactions with him his self-esteem wasn't that bad. Mr. Honest. He told me he felt great. Well that's ridiculous. A kid his age wouldn't enjoy hurting himself. I don't think he enjoyed it. Before that he was talking about how he missed out on suffering consequences. Well if not sick pleasure, or self-depression, why else would he be hurting himself? Discipline. No kid ever craves that. Your father's blood flows strongly in Carlos. It grew too soon, I knew Carlos might be the one to get it but I- Kalu, now is the time to take action. Um, are you using the TV? No go ahead. Okay, thanks. You earned it for being a good boy today. Carlos, don't speak like that. It's weird. Fine, then what can we talk about? Please not anything about yesterday. I mean sure but you brought that up first. So um. Have you ever dated somebody before? Oh, I started already finding dates after last night. Oh, duh, that's a coincidence, and this is your first time to write. Yeah, I felt so much more socially active, and more proud of myself to go on and communicate with the world, but too bad all the girls I went out with are whores. I'm legit surprised you went out with so many in one day. And they all cry about the same goddamn thing, oh god, oh god, you chopped your dick off. Yeah women are wait wait what? What? Yeah. That's the only thing they ever think about when they meet Carlos, me. Carlos, you chopped your dick off. What the fuck is wrong with you? So what? Why? That was so disgusting. I can list a few more things that are worse. Lust, thinking too much about sex, dating for their bodies and unhealthy relationships. I didn't even know you care about these things. Well, I do now. I'm growing up, in which that'll be you two in a few years. I think we're too young to talk about this kind of stuff. I'm just saying. Well, when you're 12 and you start thinking about masturbating, how can you stop it? I don't know, Carlos. I don't know. But I don't want to cut my dick off. Well, that's up to you. It depends if you don't grow horny for the rest of your life. Carlos, can we please not talk about this anymore? I'm about to throw up. Good. Let it all out. And then soon you'll learn to rejoice it. Dad, I can see you from the window. Why are you ringing the bell? For fuck's sake. Carlos, get in the ambulance. Hey, get off of me. You have no authority. Doc, is there anything I need to know? Kalu, are you sure you didn't put him in any professional surgery? What? No. Why? I don't know how. But his private area was like the wound was so perfectly stitched, even the organs inside are handled very carefully and wouldn't harm the kid later. Like your son is completely healthy, right after the instant. Jesus. Are you sure there was no other medical history, no child in the world could ever pull something like this off? There's something in his head that has a mind of its own. Like what? The demons. Hey you, put your hands where I can see them. No Jack, you have to kill them. 
Oops, sorry. You're making such good progress. We're just in. A cult inspired by a tyrannical psychopath named Boris has successfully used violence to take over a state, which will soon be spreading towards others. Police have been trying to respond but every responder that did has been received an immediate punishment day, and then death. There's no stopping the Boris cult now. Now the question remains, are all of us ready to join them when the time comes? Jordan. What? I don't wanna be grounded. Carter, you're not at school? I'm too sick and scared to go. I know, I saw the toilet, but you should have told me. I still can't believe Carlos would cut his thing off. I can't either, do you want some water? Yes please. Be right back. Don't spill it okay? What do you plan to do with Carlos? I don't know yet, but I will figure something out. Get some rest. Hello kids, did you hear about what's been going on in Arizona? Is it the Boris Land cult situation? I'm afraid it is. No 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 oh, no 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 no. What are we going to do? I am so scared. Arizona is not that far from us. We know, the school that announced that starting today, we will practice shelter drills. Or, we could do the very basic thing, submit to them, and repent to them for our sins. After all, their intentions are greater than everyone else in the entire planet. It's only their way that we can survive and better ourselves. What the fuck? Yeah, or die like the rest of them. Teacher, this guy is supporting fascism. Carlys, what is the meaning of this? Oh don't mind me teacher, I'm just speaking out my opinion. Oh really? No you dumbass, facts. It's a fact that they're right and we have to surrender to them. Shut the fuck up. Oh, is it your entire rebuttal? How about a better argument? Shut the fuck up. How about closing your fucking mouth and not justifying murder? Now, on to the procedures. You'll regret saying that to me, teacher. Anyway, about the drills. We have come on forth to say that what happened 20 years ago was justified. Boris was taking over this place for a reason, because it needed to be fixed violently if necessary. The way Boris went this far ahead over his only son showed we needed to think twice about how we raise our kids. What are you watching on the TV, Carlos? Shut up, Dad. I am watching something that I agree with. You know that politicians always exaggerate what's popular on the TV? Think for yourself for God's sake. Thinking for yourself was what killed your father, Dad. What? Yes. If you listened to what your dad said then you wouldn't be having any problems with him. And you not listening to me is gonna lead to problems too. You're not worth listening to, you're an incompetent figure as your father would believe. Oh has his demons spread onto you too? Of course it has, I prefer to call it the truth. I hope that's just you going through your teenage red pill phase, I'm not gonna bother punishing you over your opinion. You deserve to die for what you did. What the fuck? And I don't have any emotional bias or personal feelings on my statement. Carlos, what has gotten into you? I'm going back to watching TV. Right, I can't stand it anymore. Hey my TV. Sit the fuck down Carlos, we need to talk. I would gain no substance from talking to you. Oh I'm sorry, that wasn't based on any personal bias. Dad? I never thought that you would hit me. You deserve a lot more than that, go to your room. Carlos are you there? Fuck off dad. I know you won't hear me now, but I promise. I'll keep searching for a way to free you from your demons. I know you felt sorry inside. I can feel you did. Shut up with your delusions so I can sleep.
I fear this would happen to either of my kids, and it runs greatly in Carlos's blood. We don't have time before he gets worse. Then since his demons are exposed, I must investigate his demons more than I tried with yours. This would be much easier to find out more about it. Thank you Mr. Honest, I hope it's different, I still really wished we found any success in removing these demons earlier with mine. I still have to warn you though Caillou, that success in taking them out is not guaranteed. What else is there then? And known at this point, I suggest keeping the kid tame until we can find something, but it won't be too long for your compassion to keep him from, becoming like him. More importantly, take care of Carter, protect him if Carly gets into his business. What happens if it all fails? Do you remember how you defeated your father? Yes. Then you don't want to hear what I have to say about what your last resort is. Alright again kids, let's practice the under the table technique. Good job students, this is exactly what the drill wants. I have a question teacher. What about this procedure would protect us from shooters storming in? You know, ducking in cover. Oh sure it makes it so harder for shooters to bend down and shoot at the floor. Um, harder indeed. And you think barging the door will stop them either? Why are there no backup guns in this class? We're defenseless. What the fuck? Why am I the one with common sense? Um, um. Even though barging the door still would obviously not work, it's bullshit you never thought about that. This is exactly why you must stick to Boris's traditions and join them. Now how does this still tie into Boris being morally righteous? Because the alternative is too safe and too dangerous for us to live. Boris's style of discipline is a lot less harmful. Literally how? Have you heard of the theory of reverse encouragement, where the lack of response and punishment creates the worst of decisions? Like for your example, your mother catches you eating from the cookie jar without permission, but the mother doesn't punish you, and that comforts you to do it again. That applies to every decision ever made, every action ever took. You there, would you tell me about your most guilty moment? Um, I ran over a squirrel with my bike. Did your parents allow you to ride that bike? Yes. How old were you when you rode it? Five. That's too young of an age to ride a bike. So that's incompetence on the parents' part, so now, how did they respond to the situation? They said to me, it's okay, it's okay, everything's gonna be alright. Can you list any mistakes you made similar to that after the experience? I rode over a squirrel's tail again, but I didn't kill him. Was it just the second and only time? No. Did you almost have a chance of hitting a human being? Yes. How do you feel? Like a potential murderer. All because your parents didn't properly train you to ride a bike. But I know how to ride a bike. So now you, what was the worst mistake you did? Um, I broke inside a house to pet someone's cat. What was your relationship with your parents? They always let me outside to go play. They never care where I go as long as I'm back at eight. Now you see the picture? What? The? Fuck. Wow, why was I never punished for that? And now? You, teacher, what was the worst thing you've ever done? Um, um, I don't want to talk about it. Oh, you heard that? This guy has an interesting story to tell. Please leave me alone. You should, so I can save you from Boris Land's terror. I accidentally gave my sick mother too much medicine, now she's gone. Was there any other way you could have stopped that from happening? If only I felt the exact same type of pain my mother was going through. Class dismissed, I'll let you all absorb in what just happened today. Finally. The wall of weapons. Carlis, you son of a bitch. What the hell? You're grounded, Carlis. What? What? Dad, the game accessories are still on my TV. 
No, this isn't grounding, you can't reward me like this. You're such a terrible father, get me out of here. Sorry I'm late, I spent all night or in morning being unreasonably rewarded for my disrespect towards my father. God, I hate him so much. Carlys, we've now been meaning to tell you something, it's... That. We now agree with absolutely every fucking word you said. Yeah, now we are mad that our parents didn't punish us to prevent us from being bad people. Oh, huh. Well that is a surprise. Just tell us. How can we be safe from Boris Land? How can we really join him? I'll let you in on a secret. I am the son of the very guy that Boris despises. If you kill that son of a bitch for me, well... I guess then we could talk. Where do I begin? I overheard, Carlos plans to kill you. Come with me to the house. What are you doing at your student's house? The only way to save me from worse. <laughs> Impossible. When you train years for this moment, no, it isn't. Who are you? That's none of your business. We're not letting you out of our sight anymore. Who is this piece of shit? Keep that little mystery in mind. What is going on here? I'm trying to sleep. What the hell? Carter go back to bed. Honest we should take this outside. What are you doing to Carlos? What did he do? We'll explain this after we're done. We promise. Don't touch me. Care to explain why your teacher was here with a sniper at my house? Do you expect me to tell you shit? I expected not. Caillou, let me know when you're ready. One moment. Carlos, do you know who I'm mad at right now? What is this? Is this supposed to be a tricky question? Do you think it's all you, Carlos? Do you believe you made all these choices over the past week? What? Like I never had a change of heart that another person has taken over my body? What do you think? Admittedly, I have a hard time answering that too. Glad for one thing we're on the same page. Yeah, but you never went through the same thing that Boris and I have went through. What was the difference between when I slapped you and when you enjoyed your punishment days? Slapping? What are you talking about? Remember when I slapped you and it scared you? What? I don't remember that. What? What is it? When you were scared, that was the other side of you, Carlos. What? You're still stuck in there, you're confused and crying for help, you're fighting and the demon is winning. I can't do this, I'll never know if this is what he would have wanted. Oh, you were gonna cut my eyes out? Pretty dark especially coming from you. You know what's funny? I do remember Carlos's old personality, you want to know what he'd think? He'd be incredibly scared. He would never want that to happen to him ever at all. Would you like me to show you how he would act? Dad, what are you thinking with the knife? Carlos, no. It's the only way to get them out. Dad, please don't. I'm scared, Dad. I don't want to Stop lose it, that. Carlos. 
Ha! Your failures will be of great use to my advantage. I'm sorry, he was tempting you. Your turn to talk. Boris Land. You sure that's the only reason you tried to kill me? Yes, I was just desperate. I was so scared and same was everyone else. I guess there's been too much killing is he fine? Yeah he's fine. But he's fired. Oh come on. But now we gotta keep Carlos out of school or he'll keep doing this. Kai you I'd have everyone evacuate the school, the Boris Land cult will spread towards here. True. But, why here? Sorry, I can't have Carlos come over at the school, not after what's been going on. Tom, well, understandable, have a nice day. Sure. Mr. Honest I thought you cancelled school. I did. Well damn it, how else will we get him to school? Look, I'll give you an address of where he lives, don't kill me. Hey, I have an idea, we should ask this guy where Carlos lives. Huh. Not a bad idea. Tell us where Carlise lives. Here's the information. Can I go now? Well, since he's no longer of use, should we kill him? No. Maybe, but I wonder what would Carlise think of it. Does he deserve to die? Let's ask him when we go there. Carter, I'm right here. Oh, Carter the first needed to say you got no school today. Why? The Boris Burge. Yeah exactly. What's going on with Carlos? What did you do to him? Carter, I love you both and I would want nothing bad to happen to you, so please don't take this the wrong way. But he now has demons, he's about to become the worst enemy of our lives. I had to keep him hidden. Hidden where? I won't tell, it's confidential. But, but... I know Carter. He always hated me, is it my fault that he- No, trust me, he wants us to believe it is, but none of what we did was what could have prevented this, but I'm sorry this happened Carter. I, I don't want Carlos to go away forever. I'll try to get him back. This just in, the Boris cult is spreading, but only towards east of where it originally spawned in Arizona. Oh god, why did we have to be east of there? Caillou, I did some digging, they're heading east for a reason, they're coming for you specifically. What? You should strap in for this, the guy who's leading all this, he's also demonic. I can smell you. Sure you can. And he's looking for a demonic leader? There are weaker and stronger demons. But demons are extremely bound to group each other together. They're coming for Carlos. To do what? Mr. Honest you have to leave now. Who's Mr. Honest? Take Carter with you he's not safe here. They're gonna try and find him here. I must hold them off while you guys head out safely. What? But what about Carlos? If I travel him further they'll keep coming. This is the only way I can stop them. Trust your father. He picked me to be the best helper for you. But we never met. I will explain everything when we get out of here. I can take that for you if you want. Um, I can take it there myself. You've been kinda standing there for 20 minutes. Yeah sorry, I'll do it right now. It's okay Carter, I know you're scared. He needs time to process through all of this, so please take it easy on him if you're going to train him. Wait, how long will I be out of here? I don't know Carter. You may not see me again if I don't make it. But I'll hold out the best I can, for you and Carlos. But I don't want you to die. That's why I'll try. Please be strong for me, that's all I want after this is over. I don't know how. You have people who'll help you, you'll learn.
There he is. It's Carlos's father. I'm not looking for a fight with children. Fine, you asked for it. I stand corrected, now get out of here before the Boris Land group arrives. You know why we're here. Fuck off. I know what you're capable of, but eventually against a thousand men you will be beaten down. Now step aside, we can do this the easy way or the hard way. You are the one that chose the hard way, demon. Kill him. Hold your fire, don't use guns, that's what he wants. Oh come on, this is too hard. We'll be out of here soon, right? We'll be out before they arrive. I really hope so. That's way too soon. Bring me closer. What the fuck? Carter, I shouldn't ask this to a child, but take over the wheel for me. What? Um, Mr. August. Keep going, they're still catching up. No, I don't want to keep driving, oh my god. I can't take it, I'm gonna fucking die. Jesus Christ, are we done yet? I don't know. Jesus fucking hell. Don't worry, I'm coming back down there. Oh sweet, he's getting tired, I think now we can. Hey chief, we got him. Untie him. So, you finally come to save me. We're free to go right away, or we can deal with your father. Leave him. We got some other business to attend to. Well, you heard him. Let's leave. Fair enough. I'm sorry, Carlos. Do you see anyone out there? No, 
they must have stopped. Why? I think. I think they found what they were looking for. Oh no, Dad. We have to go, quickly. Where are we going, back home or far away? Far away, they may take over the state sooner if they got what they were looking for. Okay, let me bring this back. Why are we settling here? They'd easily find us if we settled in a hotel, we're staying outside of human territory for now. So I guess we like, survive in the wilderness. Perhaps. Man, I can't believe I'm gonna have to eat spiders. No you're not. Dad, I really hope he's okay. I hope so too. I can't believe he said that to me, that I would probably never see him again. We wanted you not to think of him and see the end of the world. There's just too much to handle. In one whole week everything has turned out bad. Good, use this week to hold a lot in, as I will teach you how to move on from these emotions and to become a fighter. A fighter? What? I still don't even know who you are. Then I think it's now time that I tell you everything. My name is Mr. Ronest, I've been a researcher and slayer of demons for 50 years. Your grandfather was one of the very few demonic figures I've ever seen of. A long time ago your father told me to look after you and Carlos. But we never met at all. I wasn't supposed to meet you personally, so that if either of you turned you wouldn't know of me. Oh. If I can trust you Carter, I can take you to become better as Mr. Happy made your father a better man. You just have to stick with me if you think you're in danger with your own demons as well. Is my brother far from saving? If your father is still alive he'd still be trying, but I haven't found enough demons to know enough of a proper way to do it, without making them blind. If nothing else, would my dad actually kill him? I tried to comfort him with that idea. Is that what you're going to train me to do? I'm going to train you to fight, deciding whether to kill him or not is a path that's strictly up to you. When do we start? The usual. No, give me ever clear. Tired. Too weak to move. Good. I can use this to my advantage. Carly Stone. Our progress was slower than we wanted, so I don't expect you to be proud of our work. Nah, you're good. You were aware of your limitations so you did what you did instead of getting lost in living up to my grandfather's work. Exactly why we didn't do a quick stop at the capital this time. We need your help to get over there, and do it again. I was thinking the same thing, but it was a smart idea to start all over the country so the people of America can finally feel our wrath, and we must continue it on our way to Washington. That's a great idea. So are there any other plans I should know about? Not so much. Our entire plan was dedicated to you and your legacy. We worked our way to find you in hopes that you had all the answers. Well thank you, because I do have plans. How would you like to create a punishment day on our way to Washington? Your choice, boss. Wait, why do I have to use a stick? It's a lighter weapon, you must train your arms. But like, how can... Is it supposed to like... Jesus, I thought you were gonna hurt me for a second. That's the point, your task isn't to harm, it's to disarm me. What? Without hurting you, that's tricky. Exactly, you must learn to fight without killing. Um, I guess. Shit, you broke my stick. Find another one.
God damn it. When will I eventually learn this? When you get better, it's not a matter of time, it's a matter of which mistakes you see and which advantages you can take. I feel like I'm missing something then. We can move on to some other lessons then we can go back. Sure I guess. Your next lesson will be a mental lesson, facing a demonic creature. This person here is your brother, his demons have taken full control over his body and there is no stopping him, you have 5 seconds. Um. Carlos. Time's up, he went over to you and stabbed you in the neck. Wait what, what was I supposed to do? That's up to you, you hesitated, and he went for you when you tried reasoning with it. Then what should I have done, kill him, or blind him? That's all up to you, but you have to approach this with knowledge. Okay, I think I get it this time. You have 5 seconds. Okay, that stunt you pulled off was impressive. That felt so wrong. It's supposed to feel wrong, but you pulled off the situation as you knew the best way to defeat him while staying true to yourself. But it's still... It's... I know Carter, it's still your own brother, and that's still not what we want to do with him, but you made good progress for preparation for if he cannot be turned. Just know this Carter, you made me very proud with your decision. Ladies and gentlemen of the new America, or may I call this the fallen land of Horus Land, 20 years ago you have rebelled against and disobeyed my grandfather's legacy. You ignored his wisdom, you dismissed his gift of your chance for a better tomorrow, and now you have brought more despair and misery upon yourselves. And now we're here to fix it, instead of a simple grounding of the earth, we will give you all a punishment day right here. Your first punishment, no Chuck E. Cheese. Anyone who enters and will burn and die. Your second punishment, cutting your allowance. Make sure every bank staff member is fired immediately. Your third punishment, no TV or streaming for a month. Your fourth punishment, you will no longer be able to get help from any organization that is not Boris Land approved. You will stay right where you belong, and you will get along with some new friends for the time being. The final punishment, will be your final punishment if you refuse to join us. Will you stick with us and repent for all your sins, or will you stay there and die as you deserve? The choice is yours, you have till the end of the year to decide, as my man will be watching all the streets we have encountered. Are you Boris's son? That's me. Is Boris Land really coming back? Will you stop them again this time? Yes, and I know how. Mr. Happy. Mr. Happy, I need you. Please. I can't stand to be alone right now. Right here, Kalu. My old friend. Long time no see. Mr. Happy, please help me with a choice. I've witnessed terrible things today, much worse than what my father has done. Children are getting involved in massacres, children. I can't believe even he would do such a thing. I need your advice now, I know how to defeat the new cult, should I do it as quickly as possible or do I need time? It depends on your goal, 
Do you want to save the world or do you want to save Carlos? I won't let the world die all because I love Carlos, but I do love Carlos. I can't bear to kill him as much as I did with my dad, but is killing ever necessary at all in this? I see him, he's right there. Surrender. Surrender. Mr. Happy. I don't want to act on revenge again, please tell me, is it right to hit harder? Last chance. Mr. Happy. I need your word now. Please, tell me, is it okay? I can only repeat to you what I have taught you before I passed on. I'm sorry. You're on your own. Congratulations. Duh. That was quick. Your training has finally been complete. Really? It has. Now do you believe we can go together to stop Carlos once and for all? I suppose. Let's give it a shot. Good. But we must do one thing before we leave. What's that? The Boris cult. They'll know we're here now by any minute. Are you up to finally face them? Oh hell yes. Find the other son, he is said to be right here. Sir, there's no sign of him. What's up? Shit. Okie is this dude. That was insane. All part of the training. I guess the next stop is Carlos. We have a long way to go. Are you sure you can go and handle this? I never would have thought things would go like this at all. I wish this was what you and your father had in common. If my dad's alive, and then if I killed Carlos, would, would he ground me? If Carlos is dead, your father would ground himself. Man. So, do you have contact with the US president? Why yes I do, his number is right in my contact. Obviously now you'll have to either join us or die. Very fair. Who even are you guys? How dare you not know that? We were on front news for a while now, and I give up with you. No. Hello, this is the president speaking. Hello Mr. President, this is the Boris Land Cult requesting you to surrender your position before we arrive to your place. Oh, are you threatening me? Absolutely. We will storm and take force if you don't submit to us now. Ooh. Uh, no thanks. I don't feel like it. What did you say? I don't want to. Not in the mood. What the hell are you on about? The fuck's going on? You think I'm gonna do shit for you? Why not just hold your mouth until you get here, bitch? Uh, are you expecting us? Why wouldn't I? The takeover was such a big deal for the government. You think we're not gonna put up a fight? Um... You know what? I'll accept your request for an appointment. Bring as much of your pussy men as you'd like. 
I got things to do. What happened? He was clearly not intimidated. Hmm. I think that's to be expected. Supposedly. But what if we lose? If we lose, we lose. If we have no chance, then perhaps we just don't have chance. But this is our only real opportunity. Are you going to fail me when we arrive? If I fail, I fail. Reasonable, but I better hope that won't be of you. Hey, who's in there? I'll be out of there in just a second. Hurry the fuck up, the door is bulletproof. Damn you're impatient, I'm getting out just right now. Yeah I know, the men's room was already occupied. Wait what? This is a pre-recorded message with instructions on which places to blow up for our protocol punishment day. First, blow up the banks to cut money. Then the electric companies so they don't watch TV or play video games. Should we deal with these guys along the way? If we delay our time to get to Carlos, things could get worse. We can make that quick. What the hell was that? Well, you certainly did make me have to catch up, but don't waste your breath, you'll get too tired. I see. I'm not gonna ask this again, what secrets is the president hiding? I'm not- What are you waiting for? Put some bullets in me to get me to talk. Oh yes. More of that pain please. How are you not threatened? You want me threatened, so I'm not going to be, prick. Go ahead motherfucker. Be honest, uh we fuck. I prefer we figure that out when we get there. So that's it, we're just gonna go straight there. With no plan. Are you fucking questioning me? No boss. I'm simply asking. We're just gonna assume that worrying about their non-intimidation is exactly what they want. Let's just go there without thinking about it. The White House, we're almost there. I sense that you are scared. You're displaying weakness. That's not a good sign for a demonic figure. But I sense it in you too. My fear isn't coming from what if I lose. It's coming from what if you do. Why? I think it's because we found someone who doesn't fear us. So that means you're questioning my authority. What? I know. thought I told you not to do that. But I sense you have fears too. You can't blame me for sensing you with my demons. Come on boss. I'm trying to help you. Or in other words, trying to manipulate me. No boss. I'm not doing that. Then for the love of God shut your fucking mouth. Land the chopper. I am sorry to say this. But now I have lost some trust in you, from now on. You are not to speak, talk, act, or anything unless ordered to do so, do I have your word? Carter
let's relax. Are you sure? Yes, my legs are killing me already, I assume that must happen with you too. But wouldn't this put everyone else at stake? Carlos will become powerful, we wouldn't stand a chance against him with bad feet. I don't feel tired at all. We're marking this as another lesson, do you feel prepared, or are you impatient? Am I? You tell me. I tried not to be impatient. But who knows, maybe I am wasting time and we should keep going. No I get it, I get it. Even if that's true, I do feel like I'm rushing. I knew it. Carter, I just want to remind you again, it's not your fault on what is happening with everyone around you. I don't want to think to myself that more lives could be saved if I didn't stop to take a shit. Carlos would take a shit before he takes over the government. Yeah I know, I know, I'm just still confused. Tell you what, if it's okay with you, we can continue traveling for a few more hours and then rest. By a rest here, we can wake up early. That's fine. I have 20 different ways of how I can attack you, I suggest walking away. Are you one of Kalo's children? I suppose so, yes. Thank God. I only joined because I didn't want to die, but I killed so many people along the way. I just want to hope the best for you if you're going to stop Carly's. We are. If there's anything you want me to reveal about his plans, I could bring them out to you. Does he have more plans than just taking over the government? He's going to do far worse to this country than what Boris would have wanted. He wants to kill every single man in the earth who isn't demonic, even all of us who've been working for him. Wait, where did you hear that? That plan seems contradictory to when you said you joined him to avoid dying. It was extremely confidential. I left as soon as I heard that private information. What other private info do you know? I think. He's expecting the both of you to meet him. Do you have evidence? No. Not at the moment. When you get there, you'll know. Whoa. If that's true, what's going to happen now? He still doesn't know who I am, I don't think it matters now. Wait, I'm sorry, I only did this because they would kill me if I didn't. Walk freely then. Now fuckers, you are all going to tell me how I can stop the rest of these boars fuckers. You fuckers not talking, well then. Do you fuckers now have anything to say? Fine. You next. Is this a way that you play with your enemies? Wait a minute, are you Kalu? How are you here? I'm finally going to stop the threat once and for all. Were these guys invading your property? Um, no, I found them. That's cold. But they're going to destroy the entire country. But should the world survive from the threat with cold-blooded killers to inhabit in it? But. But they're dangerous. Leave. Human beings are deserving of a second chance. Wait Kalu look out. And they aren't so lucky with a third one. 
I still didn't want to kill that man, that's the difference between you and me, I value human life before I consider doing such a thing, when there were too many people to fight, I couldn't help it, now I've built an instinct. But what are you planning to do when you get to the leader of Boris? I'm still thinking about it. Do you need a place to stay for the night? Yeah, I've been walking too much. You can come back over to my place. I guess I was just really scared. I didn't know how to deal with this situation better than anyone. I know, nobody does. Are you sure you can stop them when you get there? I already have everything planned. It will be done when I get there tomorrow. Dad, can I take a night pill before I go to bed? Sure thing Josh, just one. You have a son? Yes, always such a sweet little boy. He never got in trouble. That used to be my kids. It's kind of amazing, when you don't trust yourself, and you wind up in many mistakes you made and yet your child is still perfect. Why is that? The main issue with parents is they aren't there enough for them, no matter how much they love them. It must be the contrary with you. It feels more complicated than that. I would like to show you something outside. And what's that? What? The? Fuck? What the hell happened here? The Marks. The Bruces. They match a fighting style. Some of the style is recognizable from my own, I think. Your father passed by here. What? But this isn't him. No, not all of this. He's not corrupted by demons is he? No, he's cured. Then what drove him to do this? It was probably out of necessity. But Mr. Honest, all you taught me about fighting was when not to fight. He should know better than this. He's struggling with pain Carter, remember this? He has to kill his own son. I fucking know, but he can't bring others into this. He knew all about self-defense. Why does it look like not a single body here survived? I don't know Carter. We're right behind him. We have to get there before it's too late. Carter. I feel like shit. And I need help. What is it then? I... I can't find it in me to tell you. Fiker I feel trapped. You gotta be more specific. I... I know. We all feel like shit at times. That's not the point. Then what? Fiker I don't have to spill everything out to you. What? I'm sorry, you are not a fucker. Please. You have to save my... Josh, who said you could walk outside with your bare feet. I was just checking if you were outside, cause I heard screaming. You fucker, now you're gonna get dirt in the house. What is going on? I'm sorry dad, please don't hit me. Oh, fucker, you're not gonna get hit, you're gonna get worse than hit. It is time to give you a punishment day. Really, over bare feet outside? This fucker is a troublemaker, and he needs to be taught a lesson. I think you need to take a break. Josh, go inside. Why did you do this? Why did you stop me from correcting my son? That's a pretty quick change in character. My son was always a fucker, and he will continue to be a fucker until I take the fuck out of him. I know now who you are demonic figure, you're not going anywhere near the kid. What the fuck are you talking about? Why are you acting like you know me all of a sudden? I know the demons better than everyone else in the planet, I faced it alone. And when I say I know everything, I know also your weakness, so surrender now or you'll get it much worse. You know what, I take it back, you are a fucker. You are now encouraging my son to be bad, soon he will join the Boris cult and kill every single person in the earth. You need to calm the fuck down. You know I can't do that. No, you have to die. Fuck, fuck, no, no, my son, my son, say, fuck. Dad? 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 No, what happened to him? The demons took him. He saved your life.
Let's go inside. Any second, now. We know why you're here, last chance to surrender. Dock and cover. Now move inside. Pass me one. It's difficult to advance, there's too many of them. There's always too many of the undisciplined. The president door is clear. President Biden, we've come to take over your office. Cool. Biden, you are beaten. Surrender your office right now or we will put bullets in your head. Go ahead and shoot me then. Haha, <laughs> you motherfuckers. A bulletproof glass, what the fuck? I implied I had a plan, and you are right exactly where I want you. Send all your goddamn men here so when we could do this all day. No plans to. You're gonna stay here. Do nothing of any sort until he arrives. Um, who's he? My father. Good guess, kid. I guess you seem bright as he would think. If I'm also guessing this correctly, he planned to have me meet him and you here all along. Who else saw it coming? We talked for a very long time. He knew eventually that one of his kids would become a dumbass and take over the world like his father. So I'm glad to tell you this. You have absolutely no power over this situation. At least as much as you thought you would, now he's coming for you. And I'll have no part in it. Boss, I have no chance of defeating him with you. Then you are of no use to me. Now tell me when the fuck is my father coming over here? I'm not saying anything beyond this point. Son of a bitch. Fine. Let him come, and also my brother, so you can watch me behind this glass tear him to shreds with my bare hands so you can see how serious I am. That's pretty dark, but whatever. What is going to happen to me? I'll set you up with a good parent by tonight, after that. You'll never see me again. Where will you go? I got that Boris stuff to take care of, after that's finished. I don't think anyone will ever see me again. Why? Because I think I'll make a terrible mistake. What mistake? I wait for everything to unfold. Um, is this the White House? Indeed it is, and the president has invited you in over to his office. Is Carlos in there? He's waiting for you. I plan to have a family reunion in the White House. Everyone is going to be there. Boss, I apologize if I expressed failure. I still wish that I could help you. Then how would you like to be in my new experiment? What? What are you doing? I have to know. I have to know when you lose your demons where I cut your eyes. Uh, that's really gross. No boss, if you do this, I might lose loyalty to you. I don't want to go back to the normal guy I was after I've killed millions. I know. Very haunting, isn't it? You suffer and feel guilty in the most intense way possible. Maybe that's your punishment for trying to trick me. Boss, I wasn't lying. I'm sensing that the demons will fail you too. We'll see about that. Caillou's younger son has arrived inside the house. 
Well, finally. But why are you waiting? To see how everything plays out. Welcome, why don't you both come inside? Right this way Carter. Um, long time no see Carlos. When is our father going to show up? How would I know? I've never seen him. Well, shit. Why? Do you want me to spill it out? I think I've lost. And now I have only one chance of winning. You can never beat our dad. Perhaps not, but probably it's the way I'll go till the very end. Carlos, you don't have to die doing this. Careful Carter, he may tap into your emotions. If there's nothing else, you can still come back to your regular self and go back to living a normal life with us. We all miss you very much and want you back. I was wondering when you were gonna say that, because now that you mentioned it, I got something to show you. Be right back. I did an experiment before you guys arrived. I stitched this guy up really good after I cut his eyes out, and looky here, he still ended up dead. What, but how would that? The demons have consumed the entire soul within its grasp, so now to release the demon would never be without removing the own person's soul as well. So, guess what that means? Carter, I'm so sorry. So what are you waiting for? It's fighting me to the death time. I'm not fighting you to death. Well then that sucks. Then I guess you'll have to die first. You're not intimidating me Carlos. Oh boo hoo baby. You're not gonna fight me. Oh shut up Carlos. Carter. What's the matter? Too much of pussy to kill big brubby. Come on baby. Throw your punch if you want. No no Boris land. Bug. My shoes and tied. You both are very much indeed powerful. Now you, I never asked for your fucking appearance, where the fuck do you come from? It's a pleasure to meet you too, demon. I never asked for fuckers like you to come in and ruin the party. Oh boo hoo, is a kid so poopy he can't beat up an old man with a stick? Oh you're not getting away with that. It's over Carlos, you completely lost. We end so soon? Oh no, we're far from done. I already told you it won't work. Bro you really think we wouldn't believe you're a lying piece of shit? Damn it hold him still. I'm trying. Shit he's getting away. Do you give up yet? Fuck no. I think that's enough Carter, he's down. I'm not gonna be defeated by you assholes before I have a chance of fighting my father. Just stand down Carlos, you don't have to keep going this route. You're younger than me, how dare you tell me what to do. Steady Carter. What are you fuckers waiting for? How about you come over here first? With pleasure. Do 
you see now Carter, I am becoming more powerful every second you fight with me. Carlos, I don't know why you always seem to forget the old guy in the back. Carter, we must act quickly before his powers regenerate. Alright then. Carlos, you know this has to happen. Wait. Wait. Mr. Honest, who the hell was that? It must be your father. He's here. Where the hell would he be? Hello kids. Hello Mr. Honest. I, you're alive. Have you been learning a lot from Mr. Honest on your journey here? Um, yes I have. Good, then my journey must be complete. What do you mean by that? I'm gonna do it. I'm going to kill Carlos. What? But why? The demons have consumed him, it's far too late to bring him back. No, wait, Carlos could be lying about the demon thing. No he wasn't. I checked the body. And he was right. See, I'm not a lying piece of shit. In fact I never and do not lie at all. I consider it to be a sin. Shut up Carlos. So this is it. You're just gonna kill your own son. Just like that. Why? What have you become over the past week dad? I am very sorry Carter, I became something I never wanted to be in the first place and still don't, because I felt like I had to, you saw the fields of blood I left, right? How did you know if I saw them? I wanted you to see it, I wanted you to react and feel disgusted of it, did you? Yes, I really did. Then. I am very proud of you Carter. If you ask me right now then, I do not think you are the one that shares any demons. This, but this still isn't right. You're absolutely right, it isn't. But but why don't you let me kill him? I'll do it, you don't have to keep losing yourself. No, I have to do it so you won't have to lose yourself. I want you to be the good man from this point forward. I'm worried. I worried so much about what was going to happen to my children, I really don't want you to feel this way too, Carter. Okay. You win. Carter, please know this. I love you, and Carlos. Very, very much. Thank you so much, Dad. Mr. August. What the? Did this just turn out to be a battle between two allies? This is the most awesome thing I have ever witnessed. God fucking damn it. Well this was fun while it lasted. No, dad. No. No, 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 I didn't mean it. Carlos get up, please get back up, oh my god.
He's gone Carter. I, I didn't. I didn't mean to dad. I'm sorry. This is so fucking stupid. Why did I do this? What -a -a. Dad, please, please help me. I can't take this. I'm shaking. I can't stop. I feel like a fucking monster. I can't. I can't. Dad, what are you doing on my bed? Did you know that this used to be my room? Man. So many memories have come back to me. Just. The ones with my own father. Weren't a fan of these I must say. Dad what's going on here? Why are you in my room? I'm taking this room now Carter. You can take my other one as your own. Um. Okay then. So are you just sitting in that bed or what? I'm never coming out of this room ever again Carter. What? Why the fuck not? I've grounded myself. For life. What? But? Why? This is stupid. Trust me Carter, it's for the best. But no, it's not. I need you now more than anyone dad. I have taught Mr. Honest everything I knew. He is now the only one you must go to after what happened with Carlos. But why are you here? Why did you have to punish yourself? I feel very guilty, maybe just as much as you Carter. But, as a father, I believe I have broken responsibility. I rushed. I killed. I went ahead to do something reckless. Because I was afraid. But... I'm afraid too. You are still young, you can be better Carlis. What you did was an accident but you still turned out better than me when I was your age. You must go back to Mr. Honest, fight the remaining of Boris, learn more about demons, and try to avoid your own if they show their presence. It doesn't have to be like this dad. When you grow older, you'll understand this. If there is a way to unground you, please tell me now. When you become an adult, you'll find out a way.